Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to our home. So I know a home tour has been well overdue on my channel for Joe and I's place. So come on in and let me show you around. Everything in this video is going to be a little bit fall themed. So I hope you're into that. I know I've been very excited about this new season. Just for a quick intro and then we are going to get right into things. I'm now standing in our entrance. Our apartment is in Vancouver. We're very fortunate to have such a big place. It's almost 1300 square feet. It's in an older building. We just love the area and it feels like home now. So come on in. Let me show you around. Over here you can see we have a very nice big spacious closet. It's got all of my fall and winter coats here. Even my vintage ones. Some of these are from my grandma and then over here there's a small section with Joe's coats because he is not as much of a coat person as I am. You can see over here to the left of the entrance facing inwards there is a very large pantry. So we don't actually keep a ton of food in here. It's actually really what I call our ugly room and I feel like every place especially um, if you're a pet owner needs an ugly room because this is where all of Fufu's things go his litter box and Joe keeps all of his hiking equipment and diving equipment in here as well and we might keep some seasonal decor in here too although for the most part that's in our storage locker so we're really fortunate in this apartment as well that there's just a lot of storage which is perfectly suited to me and to Joe as well given his hobbies um, so we've got some suitcases over there and like I said it's not a very appealing room there's really not much that you can learn from it we try and keep it as organized as we can but I don't try in any way to keep it aesthetically pleasing because like I said it's the ugly room so I don't need to worry about that then right after the pantry there's this stag's head hook and on it I keep whatever Nouvelle Apparel scarves I'm wearing in those couple of days during the week. It just makes me really happy to see them when I get home and the pretty bright colors also help to make the space more appealing. One of my favorite things that we've done with the apartment, which is a little bit reminiscent of my previous place, but this is a piece that we bought together, is this little credenza at the entrance. It feels really functional. It's where my handbag goes. If Joe's bringing home any documents, he'll often keep them here. He's just getting back from a trip today, so you won't see too many of his things lying around for that reason. I've got my agenda here, I've got keys, my cell phone, handbag, always have a lit roller here if you're a fair parent, you'll understand. And then I've got my little Canadian moose here. I've got some notes written um, from some of my lovely subscribers, as well as some recent wedding invitations. This is in particular something that one of my subscribers drew, which is gorgeous. And then because you are a very special guest today, I'm burning my very favorite candle for you, which is Byredo's Carousel. I've talked a lot about candles in a recent video, so I won't bore you too much. But I have to say, if I had to describe the smell of my home right now, it is a combination of a luxury candle that's a little bit woodsy and gourmand and delicious, and chicken noodle soup, which is cooking on the stove because Joe's let me know that he has a cold, so I wanted him to have a comforting meal when he gets home in a couple of hours. It's a nice blend of both Joe and I's styles as well. So this would be definitely one of our favorite pieces that we've purchased together for the main area of the apartment. Apartment. If you are curious as well as to what is whose, I won't necessarily specify um, that for each of the items in the apartment. I think all that needs to be said is you'll see lots of pieces that are familiar to you if you've seen my previous home tours. But what we did is we essentially got rid of half of our furniture each. So each of us brought half of our large pieces um, to our new place when we, we moved in together. And then we've got a few more key pieces as well that we were missing that we might not love um, from each other's collection. So especially items for the bedroom, like the bed and the dresser um, were things like that. So I got rid of a few of my girlier pieces. Joe brought in some masculine pieces. And all together, I think it's fit together really wonderfully. A lot of the home decor, however, things like cushions, Blankets, candles, vases, lamps are mostly mine because they're just not the kind of thing that Joe is into or interested in. So he's kind of given me free reign to style the apartment that way. That's really helped to make the space feel really homey to me. So I absolutely love how it turned out. Right here, we're in 
what feels to me like a really nice little nook that's become really cozy for us. So this is where the TV is. I'll show you a pan in a moment. Um, but over here is the bigger couch. These are both Lazy Boy style couches that Joe brought to the relationship. And I really haven't tried to do too much with them in terms of styling because at the end of the day, they really are just meant to be comfy. So I've added cushions and blankets to them that I enjoy. And the whole look of this area has taken on a little bit of the kind of desert chic kind of vibe, but really they're just things that I like. Um, so over here, there's a leather pillow in a chevron pattern. I'm a big, big fan of chevron. I also really like plaid for fall. So this cushion right here is one that I bring out every year. And I love the faux fur comfiness. And something that I was really excited to show you today is this blanket from Pottery Barn. It's a recent purchase of mine. Fufu here absolutely loves it. And I've had quite a few, or I should say, we have had quite a few faux fur blankets over the years. Fufu is very partial to them. And I've had them from Costco, from Restoration Hardware, HomeSense, and a previous one from Pottery Barn too. But this iteration from this year, which is kind of a faux mink look with cream and brown is my absolute favorite and I do think they've improved the quality of them so really really love that I love how it blends into the couch it gives the area just a really comfy hug like feeling and all of us have been really enjoying it so um, then on the side there are just some very simple black brown um, side tables got a little plant going on here, a little lantern, and then the coffee table here is one that I've had for a very long time. I actually learned how to walk by grabbing along the sides of the table, so I've got many good memories. It is a little bit um, scuffed up, of course. It is a faux marble, not a real marble, but it's a really pretty blush color that I think adds a little bit of femininity to this area. Joe really likes it because it opens up and spins around, so it's a bit of a conversation piece that way, and I don't do a lot of style with this but I do have a magazine on it right now and then I'm a big big fan of using little trays to really crawl remote controls and other little things that tend to lie around uh, you know well loved and used living rooms so we've got a little succulent here all of our remotes and right now I've got Ness um, apricot tea candle burning which is one of my all-time favorites and it goes really well with the biredo that's burning at the entrance and these two candles together is the perfect amount of scent for this large space in my opinion because right now it smells fragrant but not too much and this lantern is from a local boutique but I know I always get a lot of questions about it so I'll try and find something similar um, but if you've got a table that's got any scuffs on it or you just want to cover up um, certain parts of it for whatever reason a little tray like this or a lantern um, can really help out and it's something that I've always loved to do in all of my places this particular one which is a faux mother of pearl is from Sense. And behind me is my long-suffering palm tree that's moved with me many times and I had to shield it in the corner there for two reasons. Number one, it was starting to lean a bit and number two, um, it's also really suffered from the heat in this, in this apartment. So we are so grateful for the beautiful view and enjoy it. It still hasn't gotten old. It's just so stunning but it does create a lot of heat during the daytime. We don't mind that because we're usually at work, but for plants, it really does pretty much fry them alive. So that provides a little bit of cover from the, for the palm tree so that it doesn't get too brown. You can see on the wall here above the TV, and I think this really adds quite a bit to the desert chic kind of vibe, as well as the stag head hooks that are at the entrance. So I like kind of continuing patterns a little bit throughout a home. Um, and this is from Urban Barn. When stags heads were really in fashion now I feel like they're not so much but I still love it and every year at Christmas the stag becomes Rudolph and I put um, little twinkle lights on its horns but we're not quite there yet I'm getting ahead of myself we are still in fall mode so let me show you some other fall inspired pieces 
spaces throughout the home by moving into the kitchen. So given our work schedules, we don't entertain a ton, but when we do, I've really enjoyed using this space. I love that we have this large table so we don't feel cramped. It's actually extendable, but I've pulled out the wings because I feel like the rectangular shape of it fits the space really well. We're just so lucky to have all of this square footage. We can actually make use of pieces like that. Um, I've got a really nice rustic cutting board here out for fall. It's just from HomeSense. They have really great wood pieces like that, along with a DW candle. I've got a vase that I painted at one of those paint-it-yourself um, ceramic places, as well as these gorgeous, almost reddish, and orange sunflowers from the season, as well as another trivet from HomeSense. The chairs that you see around the table were a fantastic decision by us because they have a kind of textured tweed um, fabric to them, and they're from an online store called Article that does mid-century pieces. I was kind of going for a bit more of a mid-century vibe for a lot of our purchases, simply because it's a style that appeals to both Joe and I, and they're just great basics. So any place that we'll move into, I feel like these chairs will look great in. They have wooden legs and a slate gray body, like I said, with a nice texture to them, so you can't see fur or small stains on them um, much at all, and they've been great, and they're actually really comfy as well. I have my beautiful old bar cart, which I will never part with. I just love it so much. I haven't done too much to style it. We have a bit of an overflow of glasses, so those are just stored on the top, as well as my um, bar equipment, this really kind of quirky copper um, cocktail shaker, and my favorite champagne glasses, which um, I'll link down below if they're still available because they are just fantastic and really quite great, great quality. And then over here is a piece of furniture that Joe um, brought to the relationship as well, and I have to say this is one of my favorite pieces that he has. It is vintage and it's solid wood, and I'm a big fan of anything that's solid wood. I just feel like the quality and the substance of it really anchors a space, and it's something that I am really partial to, um, just anything with a beautiful wood texture. I've got some orchids that are dying for the reasons I've outlined, which is just that it's way too warm in here, um, but I got them for my Nouvelle Apparel launch to celebrate the orchid scarf and to take some pictures with, um, so it's a bit on its last legs. And then over here are some floating frames. I love the way these frames have turned out they were quite tricky for assembly they're from michael's and we've used those to show off joe's diving photos so here he is with seals up here and then we've got i believe this is a dragon eel although i call it the demon eel because it has crazy little horns those are actually eggs for some kind of underwater creature. And this is a beautiful turtle from Hawaii, giant turtle. So graceful and beautiful swimming through the water. So I just love these. I love the aquatic feel of it. I think it's really quirky. It adds a little interest. It's a great conversation piece for when we have guests over because he has so many great stories from diving. So I love those and we're definitely planning to add more to this as he keeps taking photos and going on adventures. Um, I can definitely see this extending um, further into the left hand side. So every season I really like to switch up a few accessories in the kitchen. Some things always stay however. That would be our coffee machine which was a housewarming present from Joe's parents. It's a latte maker and it's by DeLonghi for an espresso. It has made me into a true espresso convert so I've got this little apothecary jar on the side we're running a bit low but I love the candy kind of look of the Nespresso little pods in here. Um, I think it's just perfect. It's functional. It's decorative. It's everything that I love. And then over here on the side, I've got this beautiful plate, which was actually painted by my uncle in Italy. So it's very dear to me for that reason. And then over here, I've got a new soap. This is pumpkin cupcake from Bath and Body Works. I'm not a fan of the candle version of this, but the hand soap is wonderful because it just leaves a ton any hint of sweetness on your hands. I am a big fan also of these cute little towels that I picked up at HomeSense. They say October on them and they've got little quirky pumpkin faces all over them. I've also got more um, pumpkin kitchen towels on the oven door here. They're nice and orange and warm toned and I like the contrast of orange and teal which is my theme for the kitchen. So I've got a minty green 
It's my kettle here. Very, very happy with this. By the way, I've gotten some questions about that. I've got my chicken noodle soup here, um, cooking away on low heat. I've got um, some love person accessories, most of which are gifts from my mom. So I've got um, the little cutlery holder here. And then over here on this side, I've got the pepper mill and this cute little cocot, which holds my molded salt in it. I think these two are beautiful gifts and they're one of my favorite things to give. So in the info bar down below, I will link the previous room tours that I've done for my office and for our bedroom. But I will still show them to you again because a few details have of course changed with the changing of the seasons and also making ourselves more home here given that we've lived here since March and it's now September. So over here we really have a divider between the living room and the office but nonetheless you can see the space still feels incredibly open um, which is one of the things that really drew me to this apartment. One of my favorite quirks about this space is the double-sided fireplace. And I've tried not to put too much up top to divide the spaces more because I like how open it feels. So I've just got a little terrarium here, this really cute little Jonathan Adler match holder. And then I've done a little tiny gallery wall here with some photo frames from Urban Outfitters. It was also from Urban Barn as well. Um, so if we step into the office, so welcome to my office. I spent a lot of my time here and it's one of my favorite spaces that I've ever decorated. So let me take you around. Don't mind the giant cardboard box. That is the last of my inventory currently for Nouvelle Apparel. So it's not taking up too much space right now, but it's just, it is what it is and that's just what it's like to um, have home businesses. You get to live with all of those things. I'm lucky that I love having them around and that we have enough space so that it's not uncomfortable. If you've watched my videos, you know this is usually my video background. And this is essentially Nouvelle Apparel and Nouvelle Pearl headquarters. I do all of the work for those businesses here. And it feels incredibly comfortable to me. I feel like I draw a lot of inspiration from the view and from how the space feels as well. So I try and keep it as organized as I can, but it's never going to be perfect because it ultimately is a home office. So I've got a huge desk here, which I'll show you in a moment, but behind me you'll see that I've got this gorgeous teal couch, which was actually a real bargain from HomeSense, and I'm so glad that I kept it because believe it or not, I wasn't sure where I would put it when we moved in together um, because I knew we were going to get some real dining chairs. So this originally was a dining bench. I've got a mannequin here, which is vintage it belonged to my grandmother she's a great seamstress and on it I've got one of my Nouvelle apparel scarves in capri blue and then I've got some new cushions to show you too I actually got an old scarf from Zara got a cushion which is velvet and a nice linen I've pulled that from the summer season because I like the pale pink and how it kind of lightens things up and then this is a new one this is from West Elm I love this I don't know this kind of reminds me of Tetris or Rubik's Cube I don't know, I really like it. Um, it's got amazing texture, it's really plush, it's really comfy, and I like that it has a little bit of gold, but not too much. And this is another great seasonal one. This is from Pottery Barn. I absolutely love the artichoke and the gourds. It's got some butternut squash on it and some beautiful leaves. It's got great texture as well, because you can see this is all just stowed on. Um, so it has a bit of a vintagey kind of look to it. And again, the colors just work wonderfully for the space, adding a little bit of warmth for fall. So I'm really happy with how this came together. I do genuinely just come and sit here for no reason sometimes, even when I'm not working, which is rare, just because it's got the beautiful view and the aesthetic of the space is just, I don't know, it feels just perfect for me. And then over here, this is our beautiful Mad Men style mid-century dresser. Gorgeous, kind of maple syrupy color. I just adore this so much. Joe worked so hard on this though, so I just, I'm so happy that we went for that adventure, but I have to say I'm not sure we would do it again. It was a ton of work. I talk out, but usually, all of this desk would be covered in a cacophony of pearls and findings and sterling silver and probably some scarves as well waiting to be 
shipped out. Just putting on my slippers because something that you won't have seen yet unless perhaps in a bit of a vlog or something like that is our patio. So it's actually a patio that wraps around the apartment which is a great feature because it's also accessible from the bedroom and I love how it doesn't block any of the view. We're really mostly out here to show you the design of the patio as well as Joe's Weber barbecue behind me and our little tiny bistro set here which is great. We do like to barbecue year round so we do like to enjoy that little patio and it's just great to have even for the air as well um, having these big doors to open is something that I would recommend if you are looking for an apartment it does make a big difference in my opinion and that is especially if it is a space that is not air conditioned which is a case in most Vancouver places that are not brand new at least so um, that's something that we really have enjoyed using during the hotter months of the summer. One of our smarter moves was covering the absolutely hideous um, pan electricity panel behind this painting. It's nothing very ornate, but because the hallway is quite narrow, you don't want too much going on here, otherwise it'll make it feel even smaller. So I've got some colorful little canvases here, another turtle photo from Hawaii, and then a painting that Joe brought back from Thailand that I think makes a really nice statement. We might go with a bit more of a gallery wall in the future, but like I said, I want to be a bit choosy about what we hang here just because of the size of the space and I worry that it'll sort of close it off if we do too much. So we haven't done too much decor wise with the second bathroom. Um, Joe really likes to just have most of the surfaces clear. We did get a new shower curtain for him, so this is from HomeSense. I actually really like it. It's a hotel style one with some simple gray trim and it's sort of got a bit of a waffle texture that's really nice and yeah that's otherwise pretty much it for this bathroom but I thought you'd be curious to see the layout and so welcome to the second bedroom it is a little bit darker in here and also very angular so quite hard to film but I'll do my best because I know a lot of you have been curious about this room so it'll sort of serve as a bit of a closet tour because this is where all of my accessories most of my shoes and all of my clothes live year-round I do do a seasonal wardrobe and switch things around for the fall and winter and spring and summer um, but otherwise everything fits all right. Um, I do have some plans to maybe do some different things You'll see there's a big couch that I may or may not keep in here But this is how it looks for now and my mom does stay here often and we really do enjoy having this room where the couch pulls out So it's really great for guests um, So as long as we have guests then we'll probably keep it this way um, But my mom is actually moving to Vancouver from Victoria So she may not need it for that much longer and when when that happens I think I will do a little bit of a reorganization of this room but let me show you what it looks like as it stands so I know not everybody shares this perspective but for me if something is aesthetically appealing to me I really like displaying it if I have the opportunity to do so so that's what I do with my perfumes I really like how this particular drawer unit is actually quite a shady area it's really pretty far away from the windows so it's fine for the perfumes to be there I really like how the bottles look I've always had an affinity for perfume bottles and then I've got some of my luxury shoes here kept in bo boxes that are quite pretty like the Valentino boxes are really pretty red and then if you're wondering what's in here I don't believe in ever hanging knitwear if you can help it I think it really helps to preserve the shape to fold it so all of my cashmere and merino and natural fiber knits are in here including cardigans and all of my fall and winter sweaters and I think they just really get nicely protected by this unit that much to tour um, it's pretty much the same thing as when I did my big closet clear out for um, the spring and summer but of course now it's the fall version of clothing so you can pretty much see that from the colors and I've just got some bins up top that hold my jeans and some of my trousers shoes underneath and on this side I've got shirts and skirts in the middle and little black dresses as well so facing inwards like I said it's really hard to film this and a little bit dark for sure but I've got a Barcelona chair over here you will have seen my DIY probably on my channel um, so I redid this um, IKEA Hemnes unit by adding some amethyst 
drawer pulls. This holds um, all of my handbags, my gym clothing, my swimwear, and some overflow cosmetics. In the corner, this is where I get ready every morning. Even though it's dark in the room, in the morning when I'm getting ready, the light is actually great because I get a ton of light from this side and I get a beautiful view as well. So I really enjoy that. As you know, I DIY the desk as well as the dresser with the contact paper because the top of it was also very damaged from moving. So this is where I do my makeup. For those of you who've seen my previous home tour from my single girl pad, this couch will be very familiar. So it's a tufted leather couch in a taupey color. So the nice thing about showing you our room again is that it's actually a totally different time of day. So it's sort of sunset time right now. So of course all the colors are going to look a little bit different than when I film the bedroom reveal in the morning. Still really love these in the pretty Cinderella blue. I've still got this long lumbar cushion. I probably will switch this up for Christmas, but I haven't really found a ton of fall pillows that I thought would look great with the headboard. I think something with like a nice texture, like a chenille, would be great for the bed, but I just haven't found that yet. For all my favorite piece of the room though, got a piece of a bra hanging out here, is this dresser. It is just such a wonderful piece. Uh, we love using it. There's something really luxurious about the drawers and how well they slide. This is from HomeSense. Otherwise, the styling is still pretty similar. It's still all the same jewelry organization. I switched up my perfume to Byredo's Black Saffron, which I purchased recently and am loving. So this is my side of the bed, and you can see I've got a little teddy bear there that I was sent for Valentine's Day, and then I'm reading a Lisa Unger book which I'm really enjoying so lattes and literature coming soon hopefully maybe after Thanksgiving Canadian Thanksgiving long weekend at which point I'll have had a chance to read a little bit more and then here is my bathroom and you'll see I've not done a ton to it either I do have this little towel organizer that I really like on top of my laundry basket and I just try and roll them up and it creates a little bit of a spa feel I've got a pale blue shower curtain in here to add a little bit of color as well as some teal mats and then I've tried to create a little bit of organization because obviously I have a lot more products than Joe does so I'll show you what I've done with that. Over here I've got this little caddy from HomeSense it's got a little bit of a rustic vibe to it that I really like and the two levels really help to kind of um, catch everything including small items, contact lens cases, glasses, face cream and just keep it all a little bit organized so that everything's not just strewn across the counter so I really like that that's worked out great that completes the tour of our new home really it feels like we've been here quite a long time now and I just love how it's all turned out like every other home that I've ever lived in it's never going to feel quite perfect or quite finished especially I think um, that's always going to be the situation when you rent but we really love it we plan to enjoy it for quite a while and so I'm really happy to share it with you today of course you'll be seeing a lot more more decor type videos once we get into the Christmas season. If you'd like to see other such videos on style then make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for spending some time with me in our home. I really enjoyed showing you around. I hope you liked it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!